employees in HR, legal, product management, design, manufacturing, and operations departments will benefit from cues, said AWS CEO Adam Solipsky. Uh, Amazon has launched its own artificial intelligence powered assistant built for business, Amazon Q. Uh, the AI chatbot can be used to have conversations, solve problems, generate content, gain insights, and connect with the company's information repositories, code data, and enterprise systems. Amazon Web Services said in a November 28th announcement Meet your new generative AI assistant designed for work that can be tailored to your business. With Amazon Q, you can solve problems, generate content, get insights from data, build faster on AWS while helping keep your data private and secure. Uh, Q is part of uh, Amazon's broader strategy to integrate generative AI across its product ecosystem on both consumer and private sector fronts and hopes the tool will uh, prove handle their employees. Employees in HR, legal, product management, design, manufacturing, and operations will benefit from Q. AWS CEO Adam Solipsky said in a November 28 CNBC interview. Um, he noted that Q is trained on 17 years of AWS data. Um, and AWS's largest customers include financial firms Vanguard and Delight, along with telecommunication companies Samsung and Verizon, and entertainment conglomerate Disney whose employees could leverage the AI chatbot when a more complete version is rolled out. It is currently only offered in preview mode in Oregon and Northern Virginia in the United States, and Amazon's Q was unrelated to QSTAR, an AI project by ChatGPT creator OpenAI, which was rife with controversy last week when founder and CEO Sam Altman was set and then uh, reinstated as CEO. Uh, and Amazon has been a crazy investor in the AI space, placing a $4 billion bet on Anthropic, the team behind Claude 2 chatbot, across several investments. Anthropic leverages much of its computational power from AWS. Uh, two of Amazon's largest competitors, uh, Google and Meta, released their own AI chatbots named Google Bard and Lana earlier in 2023, while Microsoft has invested about $13 billion into OpenAI.